other one from attorney Orlando Ardiza. Speaking of DEI, what can you say about Governor Abbott's state passage HB4 eliminating diversity and equity, diversity, equity, and inclusivity departments in University of Texas Austin? Actually, it's like Oh, I think, wow. yeah, no, I we work with a lot of college students, mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of them like actually use the resources from the EI offices. So it's it's definitely uh, you know we're also a nonprofit. So I don't know. But I think issues regarding like you know it's not election yet, but these are issues that are being passed, and I think we could voice our opinions on this. Mm-hmm. And yeah, no. Uh, obviously, the people who write these laws or or bills. They're not part of the the people who need diversity inclusion offices, and I know some people from uh, public universities in in Houston. They even go to Rice University, like a, a private university, just so they could have these services. So it's very important. And uh, if you could vote, you know, like read about what you're voting for and who you're voting for, what they stand for, what they think about our people too. Yes, yes. Because these also, like, uh, I work with a group who's also trying to, we're documenting passing Asian American ethnic studies here in Houston. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that all politicians should be from our community or Asian or whatever. Mm 